Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see 3D camera tracking in Blender. So let's start the class here. So now we are inside Blender. So first we have to delete all these default items here. So now press A and just simply press delete. Then after this, we have to click on this plus icons here. Then go to this VFX and select this motion tracking interface or environment here. Then after this, we have to import our sort so just we have to click on this open and just select your sort so this is our sort folder so now just we have to select all frames now press a and just we have to click on open clip so now just type imported this sort or footage inside blender in this left side you will see this track tab here so in this track tab just we have to click on set scene frames so this will set this blended timeline according to your image sequence or footage frame range or duration so now just you can see so this will automatically set this frame range according to your image sequence or footage then after this we have to click on this prefetch so this will cache all frames in memory so just we can play in real time so downside just you can see now simply just we can play our sort so this is our sort here so this sort just we have to track inside blender now simply hold middle mouse button then we can pan this window middle mouse button is scroll so just we can zoom in zoom out now press f so just we can fit this window into this area so now just i am going to track over this sort so for this first we have to create 2d point then we will solve our camera so for solving our camera minimum six to eight points just you have to create before creating any 2d point just we have to do some settings in this track tab here so downside you will get this motion model options here so by default this will select this location then other options are there maybe perspective affine all these things so just i am going to select this affine this is best tracking options here then in this match just we have to select this previous frame so now just i am going to create our 2d point so for this hold control and just click so you will get this 2d track points here so just you can see then after this we have to press alt plus s so you will get this outer region here means this is our pattern size and pattern area now if you want to adjust your pattern size and pattern area then just you can press s and just you can adjust this pattern size and pattern area then after this this track point just we have to place on our this proper positions here which point or position you want to track so suppose just i want to track maybe this tracking marker so properly just you have to place so for this if you want you can press g and just you can place your point according to requirement or in this right side go to this track tab here so you will get this navigator here so with the help of this navigator easily or precisely just we can place your point you can see so this is just adjusting this one so easily just you can see so now to delete this one so now finally just i am going to create our first track point so before creating any track point you have to also check your playhead position so now just click on this starting frame here now hold control and just create our first track point now press s and just scale pattern size pattern area even outer area independent as you can adjust now properly just we have to place then after this we have to track this point so for tracking this point downside you will get all the tracking options here so these option for tracking forward and these option for tracking backward so same option also you will get downside in this track options here so track forward these two option track backward so first option which ever track start to end then track frame by frame then clear path forward and clear path backward so all these options also are available here so now for just i am going to track so just we have to click on this track forward so now just you can see this tracking path here so just we have to check this maybe after this uh, this actually a, a track point is going outside from of this frame so till here i think this is correct so just you can check from this navigator here simply just we can click on the clear path forward here now we can just click on the starting frame here so 
other point just I am going to break. So maybe this point just I am going to break. So again hold control and just click. Now press S. So just we can adjust this pattern size and pattern area. Then place at proper positions. Now just we have to track forward. So you can also use shortcut. So control T. This will track forward. Now just you can see this one. So this point also just I have created. So then just we have to check maybe till this frame. I think this is correct. So just we can adjust about this inner area. Even outer area also just we can adjust. Now just we can track these two or three remaining frames here. So just we have to track frame by frame. So just we have to check all frames. So now this point also just type track. Just click on the starting frame here. Now hold control and just create another point. Press S for scaling. So just we can adjust this pattern size and pattern area. Now again press control T. So maybe I think this is the track point. So just we have to take maybe till here. So just we have to clear this forward tracking data. Now again go to the starting frame. And this time I am going to track this point. Now just go to this last frame and just I am going to track maybe this point. So again hold control and just create a track point. Now press S and just we can now just we have to track backward so just we have to use these options here so this is track backward here frame by frame and this track backward shortcut control shift t now just click here so just we have to check now we will go to this last frame and get track maybe this point Now just clear this backward here. Now we'll go to this last frame. And this time we have to track this point. Now just track forward frame by frame. So I think these are the sufficient points. So now first here just save our project. So simply go to this file then click on save and just select your folder. So inside this folder just I am going to create another folder. So just go to click. Just give a folder name. Then open this one and downside just we have to give it file name. Now we have to click on save blender file. So now just I am going to solve our camera. So before solving our camera, if you have camera information like focal length, all these things, then simply you can go to this track tab here, the downside you will get this camera, then open this one, then open this lens, so simply just you can define your focal length value. But just I am going to solve on default value here, so now just click on this solve tab, refine focal length, so just we have to click here, then after this just we have to click on this solve camera motion, so just click. So now if you will see just I am getting this solve error which is little bit too large here. So just we have to reduce this error and just we have to make it below 1 pixel. So now just we have to check our actually high error tracking points. So these are our maybe some high error points. So that's why delete this one. So maybe I think this point. So now just delete this one. Again just we have to solve our camera motion. So now just you can see this camera solve error. So again just we have to check high error points. So again just we have to click on. So 
so maybe from here just we can also select so maybe this point so just again delete at this point also so now just i am getting this solve error which is point 0 0.64 now i think this is acceptable here so first we have to check actually this camera motion in all frame so now first just i am going to test over this camera solve here then if there is any requirement then we can also take other uh, points here so now just uh, i am going to just create a, a scene setups here so now first here just save as our scene now click on file save scene as and just we can define this version 2 now after the downside just we have to click on this set as a background and just we have to set up tracking scene so, so now just i am getting this uh, our scene setups here so now just we have to play and just check over this camera quality So now if we will see, so from this perspective view, so this is actually not proper oriented here. So these are our points here and these are our geometry here. So that's why these are actually not matching here. So now if we will press 0, so just now I am looking through this camera view here. So for this what we can do, so now just I am going to define our ground plane and origin. So for this simply you will get all these options here downside again this floor. So for floor just we have to define three points. So just we have to define our three points here so where you want to place your geometry so just maybe these points select this one now define as a floor and just select this point as a origin so for origin just we have to select single point and just we have to click on set origin now again just we have to click on scene setup scene so now after this again just we have to check out this camera quality even just we can reduce this ground plane here whichever ground now press s for scaling so just we can reduce this one now again just we have to check now simply just we can play and get check so now if you will see so this is not actually slipping here and this is matching according to this camera movements here even still little bit if you want to properly orient your scene so for this we can also define our reach x and y axis so this is our origin this point is just in y axis so just we have to select this one this point and it define as a y axis now just you can see now again press 0 so just go to this camera view here so now just we have to play and check so now after this just we just delete all the geometry here and just i am going to create a new geometry for testing our scene so for this just simply go to this perspective view or you can also go to this layout view so easily just we can focus so now press 0 so now just we are looking through this camera view here so again just i am going to create a cube so just click on add then click on this mesh and just create a cube this is just only for testing purpose then go to this right side and just we have to select this geometry now press tab then press g and Z hold control just we can snap this one now again just press 0 so now just we are looking through this camera view now again just press tab and just we can scale this geometry now press S so just we can scale this geometry now again just we have to check from this view here so now this is just on over this ground here so remember this one so now again just we have to go to this camera view now just, now just we have to play and just check over this camera track quality here so now if you will see so this geometry is just placed on over this table here and this is just matching with our this camera motions here so i think this is uh, just looking good here so just what i am going to do after this so just i am going to create a ground plane so click on add mesh and just create a plane I think little bit just also just I want to orient over this scene so for this is what we can do so simply just again go to this motion tracking so just I'm also going to define this point which is in x axis so just we can select and define this set x axis now again just we have to click on this 
setup tracking scene. So now okay, just we have to go to this camera view now. Just, so now I think this is just looking good here. Now select this ground pane. Press S for scaling and just make an adjust on these things. Now I think this is looking good. So again, just delete this default geometry, whichever this ground. Now just we have to play and just check. So like this, just we can also orient your scene for defining which x and y axis. So now just we have to play and just we have to check. So now I think this is just looking good here. Then after this, just I am going to create another geometry. So for this, just delete this cube. This is just only for explanations here. Select this plane or scale this one here. Now just again go to this layout view and just I am going to create a monkey mesh here. Now again go to this. So now just press S and just properly just we can scale this geometry. So this is just placed on over this ground. Now again just we have to check. Now just hide this plane so easily just we can focus here. Now just we have to play. So now this is just placed on our this table here, and this is matching with our this camera movements here. Even you can also hide all these axes here. So then click here, then hide all these axes. If you want cursor also, if you want you can hide. So now just simply just we can play and just we can check. So now first here just save our project, then click on file, save edge. And just we can give this file name three. Now save edge. Then after this, just I am going to just enable our shadow catcher, and just I am going to create shadow for this object. So again, just enable this plane. Open this one, and first we have to enable our render engine. Then go to this settings here, and just we have to select this cycles. Then device, select this GPU compute. And select this plane and just define as a shadow catcher here. So just I have selected this one. Then downside you will get this object options. Then go to this visibility and just define this as a shadow catcher. Now just we have to look through this light. So just we can see. So now just I am getting this shadow little bit shadow here. But actually in this light view just I am not getting uh, the background here. So for this what we can do? So simply just we have to click on this output option. So downside, you will get film option. So maybe in this render properties option, so just you will get this one more film option here. Then we have to enable the transparency. This is again important things here. So now just I am getting this background plate here. And little bit just shadow just I am getting because uh, by default just I am getting creating this shadow through this light here. So just delete this one. I just create another light. So again click on add. And this is just only for experience. Remaining things just you can do according to requirement. Because tracking just I have done. So just create a just this sum. So now just you can see this is just only for explanation. So just I am also casting on this side of over this table here. Now just we can play. And just we can check in all frames. So now just you can see. So this is just matching. So this is just only for explanations here. So now just we can play and just check. So this is little bit heavy because this is just rendering this light here. So now if you will see, so just I am getting this thing here. So now this is just matching here. So, so now finally just I am going to play over this sort here. So simply just disable this light because this is little bit heavy here. So just we have to click this one and just we have to use this option here. Now just we can play and just disable over this plane. So simply just we can play and just check over this final sort here. So now just you can see. Now this is looking good here. So again, just we can enable this one here. I just enable this side of the channel here. So guys, till here, just type complete over this class, camera tracking in Blender. So if you like this video, please watch, share, comment, and subscribe my channel. If you are still not subscribed my channel, so thanks for watching.